Welcome to tutorial 12 in the GPSX tutorial series, Dynamic Parameter Estimator, or DPE. Typically when modeling dynamic data, the modeler assumes that most model parameters are held constant over the entire calibration period. For example, the flocculent zone settling parameter is usually held constant during a simulation, as it is difficult to monitor changes in this value over time due to challenges of attaining online measurements. When measured data is available for a parameter, a more rigorous fit to the data can be achieved by varying model parameters dynamically during the calibration. This will lead to better fitting of the observed data and will indicate the dynamic response of the parameter. After completing this tutorial, users will be able to set up and run Dynamic Parameter Estimator in GPSX. Please note that the DPE is an optional feature in GPSX that requires a Pro Plus license. A layout has already been set up for this tutorial with the appropriate data files, controllers, and output graphs. Open the layout by going to File, Sample Layouts, select the Tutorials heading, and open the Tutorial 12 Dynamic Parameter Estimation Starting Point layout. Save the layout with an appropriate name. Run a 4-day dynamic simulation with the steady state box checked. Notice in the primary effluent TSS graph that the model output fits the data reasonably well but could be improved. We will now set up the DPE to improve the fit between the TSS and the primary effluent predicted by our model and the actual data by optimizing the flocculent zone settling parameter as it varies over time. Switch to modeling mode. Press the optimize button on the main toolbar and select the optimize setup option from the menu. This will open the optimize setup wizard. We must first select the target variable, which in this case is the total suspended solids in the primary effluent. This can be found by navigating to Primary, PE, Concentrations, Solids Variables. Click Next to specify the optimized variable. The optimized variable in this example is the flocculent zone settling parameter in the clarifier. This variable can be found by navigating to Primary, Settling, Double Exponential Parameters. Click Next to proceed. Finally, we need to specify the type of optimization we would like to perform. We will be using the Fit to Data, DPE, and Absolute Difference Optimization settings. Click Finish to complete the DPE setup. Switch to Simulation Mode. Notice that a new input panel has been created with our optimize variable and an output graph has been created for our target variable. Press the optimize button on the main toolbar and select optimize mode to enter optimization mode. Press the input controller properties button to change the limits of the optimize variable. Set the minimum value to 0 0.0001 and the maximum value to 0 0.0005 meters cubed per gram of TSS. Run the simulation. Try rerunning the simulation after adjusting the DPE time window and convergence criteria to observe the effects.
Save the layout. You have now completed the 12th tutorial in the GPSX tutorial series. You should now be familiar with setting up and running a DPE optimization to dynamically calibrate a model in GPSX.